Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do the full install for CB Loader because I had a couple of people that had issues with it. So we're just, I went to the, uh, the YouTube channel and, or the YouTube video, downloading the zip. I've got 7-zip installed, it's a useful tool. Uh, extract here, it's free, 7-zip is free. A couple of people though that just had a little bit of an issue getting this install to work, uh, so I wanted to make sure that I did a long version of the video to show how that will work. Uh, ch 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 character builder first, read the instructions briefly. <laughs> okay, uh, run DDI setup 2009. After it's installed itself, run this other thing. Okay, close. Uh, don't save. Uh, run as admin. It's prompted me, asking me if I want to do that. I said yes. Uh, next, I agree. Next, 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 install. Finish. Excellent. All right. Uh, run as admin. Yes. Yes. Uh, wrong folder. The right folder is in the C drive x86 because I've got a 64 bit system. Uh, Wizards of the Coast character builder. The character builder folder. Okay. Okay. It's doing its thing. Ah, it's all done. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Uh, downloads. CB loader. We'll go to instructions. Uh, well, this is a lot. Okay. Uh, copy contents of the CB loader folder. Go to the location. Paste the contents. Run the loader application. Let it download the updates to the files it finds. Wait for it to merge all the files. Sometimes it takes a long time or something. Uh, this may cause merge data to not show up. To fix it, just turn off the builder and restart the loader. Okay. Uh, special bonus. There's an icon. Oh, that's cool. I think mine just shows up when I do it, so I don't, I don't know if I need to do that other stuff. Okay. Copy. Okay, now a tricky spot. Um, this PC, C drive, x86, wizards, character builder, uh, paste, continue. All right, uh, run, run as admin. The CB loader. Okay, okay, okay. And this part takes a bit because it's got to merge all those files. Make sure you ran it as admin because otherwise, I don't know what it would do. It might error, it might not. You might have to run it again, you might have to do the whole install over. I don't know. CBloader.exe When this finishes, it normally just runs the, uh, the program. 
the actual character builder. I really liked when they were supporting 4E, which I, I hope that maybe someday they'll do again. I can't imagine that they... I mean, it's it's like uh, just collecting royalties, you know, to, uh, to, to I have it. But um, they used to have a really nice... I don't know if it was Flash, uh, but a web-based character builder that was really nice looking. Had a lot of nice art on it. Those were the days. Back in my day, we had Flash. Uh, probably wasn't even Flash, it was some kind of variant, HTML, APX, whatever. Alright, downloading, merging. Oh! Well, I didn't click on it, I just clicked off it, so that, that maybe that'll make it go away. Alright, so we're just going to close this. It says it's still applying stuff, so... But it also ran the whole thing. Character Builder has been launched. Following merges are not a bug, and not slowing down the loading of CB. Okay, so it's still just running in the background, even though it launched it or something. So that's interesting. <coughs> I closed it because you know, I I assume I just want this thing to finish here. Hmm. It says applying new elements. I wonder if it actually says done when you're done. Online deity descriptions. Builder has already been launched. The following merges are not a bug. And not slowing down the loading of CB. We got a lot of stuff here. Uh, applying new elements. Yeah, I don't know if this is done or what. Um, I guess uh, just wait a little bit longer. Look, it just closed itself, so it must be done. All right. Oh, excellent. CB loader, 1.3. Character, that thing just closed. That's a good sign. Uh, character builder is opening. Also a good sign. Mm, create new. The witch, we got the sword mage, Forgotten Realms, whatever. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. So I guess I will just spend a couple seconds to make a character. Let's go with the barbarian. Where's the barbarian? Barbarian, choose barbarian. Whirling Slayer. And we have to hit someone next to us. I'm not reading it, I'm just, I remember it. Uh, I want to make a kobold. Cobold. Cobold. Choose. Next. Wait a minute, what was that race? Oh, I did. Okay, next. Whoop! No, background. Like, you're getting ahead of me, program. Alright. Choose your Dark Sun theme. Well, we're not playing Dark Sun. We don't get a Dark Sun theme. Uh, choose background. Optional. Forgotten Realms. General. Alright, choose this. Uh. Geography, geography, geography. Mountains will give us athletics engineering. Choose mountains. Choose background benefit. Ah. Very important. After you've done, after you've picked one of those backgrounds, then it shows them up here, so you have to pick one. 
I, I thought you got two, but athletics class skill. I don't know. Alright, so we're just gonna go plus two. Alright. Uh, next. Um, points left. Racial bonus. Oh. Oh, yeah, well, so we're not like really inclined to be a barbarian, I guess, but. Um, we'll be a charismatic barbarian. Raw. Alright, we're on the point buy system, I hope. No, it's, it's auto picked. It. Ah, 18 strength, 14 con, 10, 10, 8, 11. Well, we probably don't want. I mean, I guess we'll go to the class. Barbarian. Power, so strength, constitution, charisma. Uh, ability scores. Strength, constitution, charisma, dump stat, wisdom. Okay. Uh, I'm comfortable with this. This sounds good. Alright, next. Skills. I can train three skills. I already have pretty high athletics, but I will train it. Uh, I like boosting things in them. I like being good at what I'm good at. Uh, oh, Dungeon Hearing's Wisdom. Yeah, I can't even do that. Okay. Uh, well, Intimidation is charisma based. So there we go. There. We've got endurance, athletics, and timidity. Very good for a barbarian. Powers. Oh crap, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, devastating strike. Must be wielding a melee weapon in two hands. In two hands. Ooh, I can gain temporary hit points. That's a good one. Oh, I can slow somebody. I'll do that one. Man, I really probably should have looked this stuff up before I made this thing, but uh avalanche strike, whatever that is. Let's put fury. It's gonna be violence. Except I probably should look at select two powers. Uh, melee. You must be wheeling a melee weapon in two hands. Uh that one didn't care. Okay. So I've got two hand I've got a we weapon in two hands, alright. So desperate fury. Well, these don't care what I'm doing. Ooh, more temporary hit points. Oh, I like that. Mm, actually, if my at will gives me temporary hit points, I probably should pick something else. Oh, what was that? 2W? And I knock him prone? Yeah, that's the one. Alright. Daily, daily, daily. Ah, Thunder, Thunderhood's Rage. That looks good. Three weapon, half damage, you enter the rage. Until the rage ends, you can move through one of two enemies. Yeah, okay, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, how does the rage end? I'm gonna have to read how rage works. Uh, Sierra wanted me to do that. She can do that. Shifty maneuver. One target can shift two extra squares. Roll dice and use either result against daze or stun. Hmm, no. Brutal reach.
Well, you get the idea anyways. I mean, I could get get all picky through here, but uh, I'll just go like this one. Um, and then in my game, like, I'm just going to give my, my characters, like, a, an extra, an extra thing. So, uh, i got to figure out how to do that. Um, unchoose feet. Okay, so, so, retraining. Nope, it's not there. Alright, manage. Uh... How do I give myself an extra feat? Which will make my character illegal, but I want to do it. Because I want my characters to have this proficiency mod. Um, weapon proficiency. I don't even know what weapon I'm going to use. Glaive, maybe? Glaive, glaive, glaive. Oh, heck, I don't know how to... Wait. Why is it not showing me wave? It's so annoying. Uh, weapon, weapon expertise, maybe. Is that what it is? Spear. Oh, here it is. Grant your character an additional feat. Boom. Okay. And then down here, uh, pull arm. Choose. All right. So what that does is I gain a feat plus one feat bonus to attack rolls, and and then there we go. Because like you pretty much have to pick that. I mean it's. So I think it's a feat tax in 4e, so I just let my characters have it. Okay. And then uh, he's he's going to be level 1, but if I did want to level him up, I would just go to manage and then level up, and then I would just pick what level he was going to level up to. And then, you know, then I would go back through the builder and then pick pick whatever things in the power section. I would probably need more than just one, and then I'd probably go to the feats, pick, pick additional feats, whatever. Uh, so we'll just go to manage, and then we'll go to... You know, details. Nope, nope. Character sheet. Ah, yes. And then here's my beautiful character. Whoop. Oh, look at his hair. Yeah. Alright, so that's, that probably concludes the video. I think that's more than enough. Alright, thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you saw how I made the character sheet, and then from there I'd print it and give it to my DM. Later.